What is up everybody? So I'm at the shop right now and I just wanted to give a quick update on how Paul's fish are doing. Uh, it's been, uh, they've been through the rough part of their treatment, the two weeks. Uh, so they've been through all their meds right now. So right now they're under observation. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how they're doing. All right, so we have them in these 29 gallon tanks. We did a tank swap recently. So gem tank is looking pretty good. By far the most active of the fish that are in this tank. The cold tang is a bit more shy and still has some scarring there on, this, on his side. A little bit more reluctant to come out. And they're, they're all eating really well too. They are a little bit skinnier. The cold tang is a little bit skinnier than I'd like. The Bella Gobi's back there, you can see in that reflection. There's a Bella Gobi right there. Um, still a little skinny for my liking but it's tough on, on, on uh, these types of sand sifting fish because they're, you know, they're in a bottom, uh, a sandless tank and it's just not their natural environment. But overall, the Bella Gobi, I think for being in here for close to a month is, is looking pretty decent. And then we go over to the other set of fish and we have the, not scared at all. Look at this long nose hawkfish, not camera shy. These are far less uh, camera shy fish. Pintail, pintail fairy wrasse, looking beautiful. What a awesome fish that is. Uh, cryptid wrasse back there, looking like what is going on? Look at him checking out the camera. And we saw the fox face, but he took off because the harlequin next to me scared him. But it's also looking really good as well. All the fish in here are doing great. Then we have our eel, which is doing really well. And we've actually got him eating clams, which is awesome. So check this out. And there he goes right at it. And he's gonna go and take that back to his little hole back there. <laughs> You know who else loves clams? This harlequin tusk. Watch this, check this out. Go ahead and put that in there. Watch this. You got JR working hard. <laughs> Ryan, can you do me a favor? Can you mix me up some food? Let's feed Paul's fish and see Let's how they Paul's react fish. to some food. We feed the fish here at our shop about uh, four times a day. Sometimes I, I just try to feed them as much as I can, maybe even up to five times a day. Live brine, mice, shrimp. Um, you know, we have live algae here too. So we try to feed them as much as possible during their time here. Now, um, there's a couple of fish here that I think would look awesome in Paul's tank, which are, let's check, uh, where is that? Oh, check this out. So look at these antheas and look at that beautiful, uh, ruby red wrasse. Look at the tile fish right there. Love that tile fish. So, and he did lose a Midas Blenny during this whole situation. So we can replace that Midas Blenny. We got one in that's, you can see they're all just going crazy for that food. Yeah, they're all doing really well. So yeah, um, a lot of these fish I think would look really dope in his aquarium. All right, so we'll go ahead and feed Paul's fish right now. So we'll open up the little feeding port and let's see how they react. And they know it, they know, they're like, uh, they know when they're about to get fed, look at that. They're eating, they're aggressive, they're alert. Colors looks much better on them since uh, they first got here. The Bella Gobi's eating too. A little bit more shy, but yep, he's going at it. So that's definitely a good sign. So that's awesome. So the Bella Gobi, everybody in this tank is eating. That's that, they've been eating for a while now. They're all doing good. That makes me happy. I was worried about that Bella Gobi for a while, for a bit. And then we have the other set of Paul's fish here. And everybody's eating great. Where's the fox face? Where are you, bud? Here comes a fox face coming out to eat. So look, so for the most part, um, the, the, the the infection looks to be gone. The scary part seems to be over. Now they're chilling here in these uh, in our tanks right now. 
but the thing is is Paul's tank has to be fallow for 90 days I believe it is so there's still a long time um, before these fish can go back into a um, more of a natural environment so we still not out of the woods yet it's still some things that can go wrong we have to be kind of diligent I think I'm gonna take the Bella Gobi out of this tank just because I want him in a more natural environment. The more natural the environment, I feel like the, the less stress these fish will be under. Although they've gotten uh, pretty comfortable in these tanks. Also, how cool would it be if we put some jawfish in his tank too? A couple of pairs of jawfish, a couple of these chalk basslets in there. It's one of my favorite fish. I love those guys. And uh, maybe a swallowtail angel. Blue jaw trigger, male and a female, huh? That'd be pretty cool. And then in this tank, here's our Paul's original fish that he had in his old house, in his original saltwater tank. So these guys are doing great. They're paired up, they're best buds, and uh, these will be going back in his tank as well. So once his tank is up and going and everything's good to go, we're really gonna like pimp this thing out. This tank is gonna look badass. We're gonna put so many cool fish in here um, as soon as he gives us the go ahead. As far as this, you know, fish disease goes, there's, a, you know, there's not one person in this hobby that hasn't had fish loss or any type of, you know, fish mortality. Um, if you've been in this hobby long enough, you're going to deal with, uh, you know, dead fish. Shout out, shout out to Paul for getting a hold of us as quickly as he did and noticing that something was wrong and um, allowing us to move fast. This happened to me in the past, a similar situation. Uh, I got marine velvet in my tank and within 48 hours, all my fish were dead. And I didn't know any better and I wasn't able to act quick enough. Uh, so shout out to Paul for being able to act really fast. And because of him and his quick thinking, we were able to save you know, the majority of his fish. One thing I say about Paul is he is awesome with his animals and he's caring and he goes above and beyond to make sure those animals are taken care of. Oh, you know, it would also be nice, a couple of firefish. I love these guys. They're, they are common in the hobby, but man, they are beautiful. Can never go wrong with a royal grandma. Another staple in the hobby. Great, affordable fish, but the color on that, that, that violet with that yellow, beautiful. Paul's actually on his way uh, here now, so when he arrives, uh, we'll get his reaction to what he thinks about how well his fish are doing. So, uh, right. so you uh, look fish looking good? Amazing! Like I had to, it's crazy. The gem tang when you came, got all that stuff. It yeah. was bad. Like I was nervous. It was, it was really, really bad. I didn't honestly think much was gonna live at all. And then I got to think of the fact that I got to tell uh, however many people are gonna watch my video about this that this disaster hit. You know, and I lost all my fish. Thankfully, the boys came in. It was nice, quick. You know, they came in and out with, within a day and uh, brought everything here. And now the gem tang looks like almost as if nothing ever happened. And then obviously we have over here all the rest of the fish. These even look better than the gem tang. The hawkfish is more active than it was. That's for dang sure. Was still trying to eat right now, actually. Obviously the fox face in the back looks amazing. All the coloration came back, which that blows my mind because that had no color. When you picked up the fox face, it was yeah, like white. Yeah, it was pale white, yeah. yeah, and they were all laboring. Yeah, well, they, I'm happy you're happy. We're, we're not out of the uh, woodwork yet, but uh, we're on the right path. It makes me happy to see Paul come in here and uh, have a, you know, breathe a sigh of relief, uh, seeing that his fish are doing much better. Um, that makes me really, um, happy and it makes me feel like uh, we're doing our job so update is good I'm very happy with our progress here we'll continue to work hard and the next video will be hopefully putting the fish into Paul's tank so uh, wish us luck thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you have a good one